Welcome back again to all our deaf parents and kids. It is our first lesson that we have on the quarter two in their mathematics subject. The lesson cover that we have for today is about identifying factors of a given number up to 100. The first thing that we should do into this lesson is to first identify the meaning of factors. So factors are numbers that we multiply together to get a product. To make you more understand if what is a factor, I have here an example of 2 times 6 is equal to 12. Since 12 is our product, then these two numbers are the, what we call the factors. So these 2 and 6 are what we call factors and 12 is the product. So we can say that the factors of 12 is 2 and 6. So let us have another example to identify if what are the factors. So we have 2 times 7 is equal to 14. We all know that 14 is the product. Therefore, 2 and 7 are the two numbers that we multiply to get 14 is the what we call factors. In identifying the factors of a given number, you should uh, consider these two things. Number one is to master the multiplication table and you should know the divisibility rules so that we can easily identify if what are the factors of a given number. I'm sure kids that you already uh, master and memorize the multiplication table. And let us now proceed to the divisibility rules. When we say divisible, it means that it can be divided. These are the numbers that when we divide, it will give us an exact answer. We have different divisibility rules that we should remember. The first of these rules is the divisibility rules for 2. A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is an even number such as 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, let us have an example of a number that is divisible by 2. I have a given number here which is 54. Now, is 54 is divisible by 2? So, if your answer is yes, you are correct because 54 is end with an even number 4. So, 54 divide 2 is equal to 27. So, 27 is one factor of a 54. So, 27 and 2 are the factor of 54 because when we multiply 2 and 2 times 27, the answer is 54. Another example of a given number which is divisible by 2 is 36 because it ends with an uh, even number. So, we will uh, divide 36 into 2. So, it will give us uh, 18. So, when we uh, multiply 2 and 18, the product that we can get is 36. Therefore, 2 and 18 are the factors of 36. Take note of these kids that when we when we divide a certain number, the answer should be uh, or the quotient should be always be exact and the remainder is always zero. And this is the divisibility rules for 3. A number is divisible by 3 
if the sum of the digit is divisible by 3. So let us write 63 as an example of a number that is divisible by 3. But as the rule says, we must to, uh, add these two digits. So 6 plus 3, the answer is 9. Afterwards, we will uh, divide 9 into 3. So 9 divide 3 is equal to 3. Now we can say that 63 is divisible by, uh, by 3. Since we already proved that 63 is divisible by 3, let us find out now if what are the factors of 63. So, 63 should um, divide into 3. So, the quotient that we will get after uh, dividing them is 21. So, 3 and 21, when we multiply them, we will get the product of 63. Therefore, 3 and 21 are the factor of 63. And this is the divisibility rules for 4. The numbers is divisible by 4 if the last two digit is divisible by 4 or if the number ends into two zeros. So let us have 124 as an our example. So take a look uh, into the last two digits of so 2 and 4. So 24 should uh, be divisible by 4. So 24 divide uh, 4, the answer is answer is 6. Therefore, 124 is divisible by 4. Let us divide them together so that we can get the factor of 124. So when we divide 124 into 4, the answer is 31. Therefore, 4 and 31 are the factors of 124. Because when we are uh, multiply them we will get the uh, product 124 so 4 and 31 are the factors of 124 another given number which is divisible by 4 is 100 since 100 is ends with into uh, two zeros, it is automatically uh, uh, divided into four. So let us now find out if what are if what are the uh, factors of one hundred. All you have to do is to divide one hundred into four. So we will get twenty five. So four and twenty five. When we multiply them together, we will get. 100. So we can say 4 and 25 are the factors of 100. And this is the divisibility rules for 5. If a number is divisible by 5, if it, if it uh, ends in 0 and 5. The divisibility rules for 5 is if a number is divisible by 5 and if it is n with uh, 0 and 5. So we have 95 as an example of a given number which is divisible by 5. So since 95 is n with 5, it is automatically um, divisible by 5. So all we have to do is to divide 95 into 5 so it will give us the quotient or the answer is 19 so we can say that 19 and 5 are the factors of 95 so we will multiply uh, 5 
into 19, the answer is 95. So 5 and 19 are the factors of 95. And this is the divisibility rules for 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it is both divisible by 2 and 3. So we have 30 as an hour example. Since 30 is divisible by 2 and it is also divisible by 3, it is automatically divisible by 6. So how can we get the factor of 30? So we have 30 divide 6, the answer is 5. So, the um, factor of 30 is 5 and 6. 5 times 6, it will give us 30. So, 5 and 6 are the factors of 30. The divisibility rules for 9 is... A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all digits is divisible by 9. And to follow this rule, we have an example here which is 99. So all we have to do is to add these two digits. So 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. So 18 is... Um, divisible or divided into 9. So when we divide 18 into 9, we will get the quotient 2. So we prove that 99 is also divisible by 9. The next thing that we should do now is to find if what are the factors of 99. So we will uh, divide 99 into 9. So it will give us the answer or the quotient 11. So, afterwards, we will multiply 9 and 11. So, 9 times 11, it will give us 99. Therefore, again, 9 and 11 are the factors of 99. And the last divis divisibility rules that we have is for 10. A number is divisible by 10 if it is ends with 0. Let us apply the rules of 10 into this uh, given number. So 120. Since 120 is ends with 0 or the place value of 1 is 0, it is automatically a uh, uh, divisible by 10. So let us find out now if what are the factors of 120. So we will uh, divide 120 into 10. So it will give us 12. So 10 and 12 are the factors of 120. So 10 times 12, it will give us 120. So, this 2 is what we call factors of 120. Since we are done into our discussion about on how to get the factors of a given number using the divisibility rules, let us apply them into the sum exercises that we have on the board. So, I want you to give the factors of 96. So I will give you a few minutes to think about the, the factors of 96. One of your answer is 2 times 48 as the one factors of 96. You are correct because 96 is an even number and if we divide it into 2, we will get a 48. So, 2 times 48, it will give us 96. And if you also write 3 times 32 as one of the factors of 96, you are all uh, correct again because 96 is divisible by 3. Because when we add 
9 plus 6, we will get 15. And 15 is also divisible by 3. So, 3 divide 96 is equal to 32. So, 3 times 32, it will also give us 96. 4 is also divisible into 96 because the, this last two digit is um, divisible into 4. So, when we uh, divide them, we will get the quotient 24. So, 4 times 24 is also equivalent to 96. Another factor of 96 is 6 because since we can uh, divide 2 and 3 into 96, that's why it is also divisible into 6. So, 6 divide 96, it will give us 16. So, 6 times 16 is also equivalent to 96. 96 also is also divisible by 8. So, when we divide 96 into 8, it will give us 12. So, 8 times 12 is equal to 96. So, that is the end of our lesson for today. Um, it is also my small way to help our co-parents and kids to do the modular learning. Thank you again for watching and please don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell uh, so that you can get updated to my new uploads.